Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to tell you the differences between the Fox fork line, the 32, 34, 36, 38, and 40. So those numbers literally mean the stanchion diameter. This is the stanchion of a fork, and this is how you measure the diameter. Boom, simple as that. 32 on the 32. Um, why the stanchion diameter is so important and Fox decided to name their, like their naming convention after the stanchion diameter is because the longer travel the fork gets, you typically need a larger stanchion diameter because it allows that fork to be more sturdy and not flex. Oh! Um, so the 32, which is offered in just 100 millimeters of travel, a step cast and a non-step cast version. Step cast is just the lighter weight version where they mess with the lowers a little bit. Um, this is Fox's lightest weight fork made for cross country bikes, um, 100 mil travel bikes because, or hardtails, again, 32 is gonna be the lightest fork there is all the way up to the 40, which is the heaviest fork there is, and they sort of fit bikes as they progressively go up in travel ranges. So the next one up is the 34. There you go, 34, once again, 34 millimeter stanchion diameter. This could go on a trail hardtail, which is what this Yeti ARC is, um, or it could go on just a trail bike or a down country bike. Um, they do have these in a step cast version that comes in 120 mil travel only, and they also have it in just the regular version, which comes in 120 to 140 mil travel. So that's the 34. Next one up, oh man, got these mixed up, 36. 36 millimeter stanchion. There's definitely a bit of a blurring of lines between the 36 and the 38. Um, the 38 was new for 2020, which is why we remade this video to introduce that thing to you guys. Um, but the 36 is offered in 140 to 160 travel and the 38 160 to 180. So just a little less travel. You could call this your enduro fork. I mean, I like to call these enduro forks at that travel range, and then I called the 38 a super enduro fork. I kind of just made that up. I don't know if it's gonna catch on. Right. Um, the 38, we have a whole standalone video just about this. We also compared it to other forks that are similar in terms of um, stanchion diameter, that sort of thing, but much longer travel very stiff, race-inspired fork made for people going really fast or big riders that are really demanding um, absolute stiffness and precision out of their long travel single crown fork. So bumping up from there, then you get the Fox 40, which is a 203 millimeter travel, full-blown dual crown downhill fork. Um, this thing is a monster. Uh, you basically only ever see this on downhill bikes, period. They only ever made them for, well, it was 26, right? Then it went to 27.5. When they introduced the 29-inch wheeled version, which is still fairly new, when they introduced that, they actually called it a 49. They have since redacted that because they realized that totally ruined their whole naming convention because it's still just a 40 mil stanchion. So for 2020 and moving forward, um, it's uh, just gonna be the Fox 40 available in 27.5 or 29-inch wheel, but 40 mil stanchion, 203 mil travel, ultimate downhill fork. So there you go. That is the difference between all the different Fox forks. Um, fairly simple topic. This video, we just wanted to stay very high level. And for those of you that didn't know the difference between the 32 all the way up to the 40, now you know um, stanchion diameter, which also directly correlates with the travel range they're offered in and what type of bike they are used for. So thank you very much for watching. See you guys in the next one.